Hi, this is Steve Westmark, Council Realty. Thanks so much for watching my video blog this week. I thought I would share with you some ideas that I've gained over my many years of real estate in experience of how to make your offer on a property a better offer so that you see success in the end as you're negotiating with the seller. The first thing is coming in with a pre-approval letter from your lender. Sellers want to know that you're qualified and approved to purchase a property. So this is a very, very important thing to have done before you even go out and write an offer. Second one is write your earnest money at a bigger number than what a seller would expect. It puts a piece in a heart of a seller to know that you are committed to buying their property and by having stronger earnest money, that is a positive. I usually use a guideline of a fair number of about a thousand per 50,000. So if you buy a $200,000 house, that's about four grand. You want to impress a seller and if you have the money, write them a $10,000 earnest money. If you know for sure you love the house, make it a $10,000 non refundable earnest money and that will make their eyes open wide. The third thing I'd suggest is eliminate, eliminating unnecessary contingencies. You want to put the contingencies that are in your offer to take care of the concerns that you have about the property, but sometimes you can put contingencies in there that just scare sellers off. So minimize the number of contingencies that you have within your purchase agreement. When it comes to personal property on the, for the property, just ask for what the seller has put on their MLS sheet. If they're not leaving their washer and dryer, I recommend don't ask for the washer and dryer. Just write what the seller has said that they want to give for personal property. The next one is I'd say make your inspection contingencies. In most homes, you're going to buy with an inspection contingency. Shorten it as much as you can. What I can do is I can call the inspector that you're going to use, find out how soon can they get to the property, and if we can make it a two-day contingency instead of a five or a seven-day, it puts the seller at ease knowing that you can get that inspection contingency done quicker. The next one is to have a picture of yourself and your family, maybe even your family dog, and bring that as part of your offer and then write a specific note about the property. Write to the seller what you like about their house and why you want to move in it. Now, for instance, if your plan is I'm going to tear your house down because I want to build something there. That's not the type of thing you want to put in the note. You want to put in the note how, the things that you love about their property that will endear yourself to that seller. And the last thing that I'm going to say that you look at is you can have me call the listing agent and ask what is the preferred seller's closing date. By knowing what that closing date is, and if you can deliver that closing date, that is one great big positive also that you add to making your offer be looked at in a more positive light when you're negotiating for your best possibility in the future. Well, thanks so much for watching this video blog and make it a great day. Bye.